Have you all watched the viral video of the teacher who called out parents for their children behavior? Watch this. Oh, I'm calling you out. The children today, I have never experienced, and I'm, I'm 22. Having to teach and work with you guys as children has been the most traumatic experience of my life. I teach five-year-olds ballet. They don't respect any authority. You ask them, can you stand in your designated spot? They're telling you no and shut up. They're throwing things at each other. They're throwing things at other people. You confront the parent. The parent tries to argue with you and fuss at you. And another thing that's heart-wrenching is horrifying. It is horrifying. Your five-year-old daughters are asking to listen to Pound Town and Ski Yee. I'm playing them Princess Tiana ballet music. And they are asking me, can we hear Pound? So she breaks down as she admits that her students don't want to learn. Now, I want to show you something that is very disturbing. Do you all remember she said they don't want to learn, but they want to listen to a song called Pound Town. Now take a look at this photo. This is the artist who made the song called Pound Town. And she goes by the name of Sexy Red. And unfortunately, she's one of the most popular rappers that's out right now. Now I'm gonna read some of the lyrics from this song called Pound Town. And it just might shock you. Here it is. Keith, F these in up. I'm out of town. Thugging with my rounds. My backside is brown. Where are the ends? I'm looking for the H. Where am I in? He just took a B down. Yeah, that N, D, A, B down. And maybe this explains why they are disrespectful and don't want to learn. And it gets worse, everyone. Take a look at this lady. Notice she's throwing up 666. Now take a look at this. 666. And not too long ago, she posted a video of herself confessing to selling her soul. I sell my soul. Should I just tell them the truth? <laughs> <laughs> it's time for me to just keep it a honey with child. Like, yes, they got me in this shit. I don't know. I can't get out of it. I'm getting too much money. I'm getting too much money. I don't want to get out of it. And don't let the laughter fool you. They always do this to make you think they are just joking. And do you all remember what Cat Williams said when he was on Shannon Sharp's show? What? Do you know what the number one job of somebody that sold their soul in Hollywood is? What? Is to act like it didn't happen. How many times we have said over and over again how music has an impact on the culture? Just in case y'all don't want to hear from us, I hope you all listen to what she said. And I don't want to hear anybody say she's making this up because you can look on social media. They are wilding out because they're not being taught at home. See, if you train them at home, when they go out into the public, they'll know how to act. And if you expose them to people like her, you shouldn't expect them to do any better. And let's be honest, a lot of this mess we see is due to these young people raising themselves. What happened to training them up in the right way that they should go, that when they are old, they shall not depart from it. But since everything twisted, people said we don't want the most high anymore. So they replaced truth with people like her. And now you see it affecting the culture all across the spectrum. People are going on social media, crying and breaking down because they can't do nothing with these young people. Look on social media. They dress any kind of way. They talk any kind of way. They disrespect authority. They really think that life consists of this foolishness that these people rap about. It's really sad when you see people exalting failure. This is what drives the culture now. People like her. This is a shake your head moment because you know something is wrong when somebody like her is inspiring the culture. Do you all hear the alarm? Do y'all know what time it is? It's time to wake up and stop trying to justify this foolishness and get on your post. You can't say anything good about it. What's good about a personality? Tell me something good about a character. Tell me one thing that is good about a character. You can't tell me. They don't want to learn, but they want to listen to Pound Town. Wake up in the spirit. God bless you.